I'm dressed up today for two reasons. One, we've had a funeral. I have to show you the lost in the garden. I have poor vegetables lying in repose. But actually, I've just caught enough for Anyway, come see. I have a few things to show you guys out there. Here lies what was to be a sunflower. Um, I'm speculating this is overwatering. My husband and I had a bit of a mis miscommunication and um, I came home and the garden had been watered a lot. So I also had kept it covered at the time so I guess not enough air was or water was able to evaporate. So I lost a few things. I lost my two sunflowers. I lost um, pretty much all my carrots. I had 16 little babies there. And I had carrots here, they're all gone. Now, another thing that happened in my garden was the radishes did not produce radishes. These have dried out. But what I pulled up were just little bits of nothing on the bottom. I read that that's actually due to high nitrogen in the soil, so I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. Another uh, cause of, or drawback, I guess, with the overwatering, and this told me this was what had happened, it was the discoloration, the brown discoloration here on my cucumber plants. They're growing slowly. I read that they, ooh, what is that? I read, I read that they will come back. Okay, we've had an invasion of caterpillars in my garden. I have a little bit of video of a big one we found that my son wants to keep and turn into a moth. It currently has its crystallis. But meanwhile, the damage that had been done actually by the baby caterpillars, uh, they created these sizable holes. These were by little, little tiny caterpillars. But I got a hold of BT, it's that bacteria that you spray on the, these plants. And they see, it seems to be doing a good job. The moth had been flying around here, so I'm pretty sure it was laying a bunch of eggs. But I'd come out here every day and I'd see just a bunch of them. So it was very, very discouraging. The overwatering issue, the underwatering issue, the pests. It's a little discouraging in the garden, but I'm, I'm determined to move forward. We do have good growth otherwise. I mean, I think I think this cucumber plant's they're gonna make it. Tomato plant's doing pretty good. And I still have this little one I grew from a seed. It's hanging in there. Basil's doing good. I'm actually gonna spend this weekend and replant some more seeds for the carrots to come out. Hopefully by the end, by the end of the season, we'll get a few of those going. Also, having a lot of good growth here on, on watermelon plants, pumpkin plants. So they've weathered the storm and we got peas coming up here. My new sprouts on spinach didn't make it. So I'm going to just be a little careful, more careful about shading and monitoring the water and communicating a little bit better about that. So that's the latest update on my great garden.